Hey y'all, it's Tammy. Today we're going to make my Granny's Old Fashioned Chocolate Cream Pie. Now you know the one, the one when you always stood in the kitchen and Granny stood there with the whisk and she started in the pot on the stove top and you couldn't wait to get a piece. That's the one. But my shortcut method makes it even better because it turns out perfect, never scalds. I use the microwave. So let's get started. Okay, we always start out with the dry ingredients. We whisk them together and then we start adding the wet ingredients. So you're going to use three tablespoons of cornstarch. Now some of your grandmothers may have used flour, but now my granny used cornstarch. You're going to use a cup of sugar and two heaping tablespoons of cocoa. So you can just say three tablespoons if you want, if you've got flat ones. You can add or subtract cocoa according to however you like it, whether you want it milk chocolatey or really dark chocolate. Mine is kind of in the middle. So two heaping tablespoons, or like I said, just put in three flat level tablespoons. You whisk these ingredients together so that they're blended well. We're gonna add butter, but we wait till it's finished cooking, and we're gonna add vanilla, but we wait till it's finished. So the next step is we use one cup of evaporated canned milk. Now, I don't buy the fat-free kind, get the good stuff. And you're gonna use a cup of that, and then you're gonna also put in a cup of water. So I always put in my cream first, then I add my water up to the two cup line. So let me go do that. So this is the cream and the water. And when I say cream, I just mean evaporated milk. Now we're gonna put in the eggs. I use four eggs so that I can have a pretty meringue on the top of the pie. And I even use big eggs too. So I like a lot of meringue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my yellows in, what, in this so I don't mess up something else. And I'm gonna let my whites go in this bowl and we're gonna use the whites to do a meringue for the top of the pie. There's one, two, These are probably extra large eggs. Two. But large ones will work. Three. And four. Make sure you don't get any yellow in the white or it won't beat up a pretty meringue. While you're doing this step, you can pre-bake your pie crust. I usually put it on about 400 for about 10 minutes, prick some holes in it, get it in there and let it start getting brown because you're gonna place this pie in a pre-baked pie crust. And then we're gonna put the meringue on it. So I like to take my whisk and beat my eggs up just a little bit, add them to my pudding mix and mix it really well. handy to keep your whisk in and that way you don't get stuff all over the counter. Now the next step, oh wait a minute, it looks like I don't have, you can tell on the side of the bowl right there I don't have it mixed good. So just make sure you get every bit of your sugar and cornstarch and everything mixed good. We're going to microwave it three minutes. On high. Now in three minutes, we'll take it out and stir it and pop it back in there. All right, we're pre-baking a pie crust. This is just from the store. It's an Angles brand. They have pretty pie crusts. I'm just making sure that it's pricked well after it he heated up in here. And uh, we're going to let it get nice and golden brown. 400 degrees. Now while you're waiting on that first three minutes, get you out some cream of tartar because we're going to use cream of tartar and you're also going to need a quarter cup of sugar. Now one thing that I do that most people don't because the reason your meringue weeps is because the sugar doesn't melt in it. 
So what I like to do, which is unlike just about everybody else, is I like to put my egg whites in the mixer with the sugar on low speed the whole time my pie is getting ready in the microwave. So it's going to be on a low speed for about three minutes and it gives that sugar time to blend in with those egg whites. All right, our three minute timer has went off. We're going to take a look at this pudding. You can see how pretty and creamy it is. I'm actually going to let it go about one more minute. But when you use the microwave, it keeps it from scorching and burning. It makes the most beautiful pudding. If you use flour instead of cornstarch, you just need to get it out and mix it a little bit more because that flour sometimes will settle down to the bottom of your bowl. Uh, but you can see how delicious that looks. I mean, it's so easy to make pudding this way. You should make your kids pudding like this instead of buying that stuff out of the refrigerated section. Let's put this back on one minute. And we're going to turn up our egg whites and start beating those on high. I'm going to put in um, a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. No, let's just put in a quarter teaspoon. That should work. I'm getting out my pie crust. I'm going to put it right here. Now for our pudding. Yummy. We're going to add a couple of tablespoons of butter. because this is flavoring and not extract and that way it'll be good. The cream or tartar just makes your meringue look pretty and shiny and smooth. If you overbeat your meringue, it will not look like that. It will look um, real uh, I don't know how to I don't know what word to use. Just don't overbeat your meringue. If you do, it gets all yucky. How's that? It don't look pretty and silky and smooth like this. And if you use the cream of tartar, it usually makes a prettier meringue as well. So let's make it look pretty on the top. And get it back in the oven. And we're going to leave it in the oven at 350 for... I like to cook mine about 20 minutes. Meringue is raw egg whites. You're supposed to cook it. Don't torch it or put it on high and broil it. Take it out. Make sure it sits in there about 20 minutes at 350 degrees. 
Okay, so we're going to get this back in the oven and let it get brown. Here's our granny chocolate cream pie. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks, where we cook like our grannies did.